No snow day algorithm can ever be 100% accurate, but using this algorithm, I have predicted seven of the last eight snow days for my school with no false positives. It's as easy as answering 10 questions, giving yourself some bonus points. If you get 100 points, you have a snow day. Day of the week, that's easy. If it's a Monday or a Friday, you get 12 bonus points. You're more likely to get a snow day. In this hypothetical situation, it is a Friday. Proximity to break, you could get extra points if your potential day is the day before a holiday, such as Christmas. In this case, it's not, so I'm going to say zero. Month to snow day ratio, take a look at this chart. Most school districts have four snow days that they can give out without any penalties. So you get bonus points if you haven't had any snow days yet. If it's early in the season, um, you get extra points. So let's say it's a January and we've had one snow day. So I have to find it on the chart here. That situation would be a bonus of six points. I'm going to give myself six points here. Momentum. This is the idea of uh, if the athletic director has canceled activities the evening before, it gets people thinking in terms of a snow day. But in this situation, that hasn't happened. Zero. The next question is the death knell, the killer of snow days, the only situation where you could score negative 40, and that's if the public schools have state testing on that day. In a situation that isn't happening. Now we want to focus on where in the country you are. Tier 1 locations get 60 inches of snow a year or more. Tier 2 get 20 or more. Tier 3, less than 20 inches of snow a year. Tier 1 locations are typically upstate New York or any places that are within 10 miles of the Great Lakes, Detroit, Cleveland, um, Chicago. Your Tier 2 locations, Springfield, Indianapolis, Philadelphia, Boston. And Tier 3, well, if your town uses a pickup truck to plow the snow, you're probably at Tier 3 location. For the next five questions, we need some accurate weather data. I recommend going to the National Weather Services website, which is weather.gov. And this also allows you to put your own location in to get to some valuable hourly forecast. Also gives you a color-coded depiction of the snow advisories or the snow warnings. In this example, we have some action going on both in the northeastern part of the United States and also the northwestern part of the United States. Once you get to the hourly weather data, it looks something like this, and you want to focus on three areas. One would be the temperature from early in the morning, for let's say midnight to after school starts in the morning. You've got your regular temperature, but what you really want is the lower one, which is the feels like or snow or the wind chill um, factor. You also want to look at the wind speed for the same period of time. And finally, you want to look at the snowfall totals. And let's zoom in on that. In this case, we have only half an inch of snow falling from midnight to 6 a.m., but we have a lot more snow right after school starts. Now, that's the situation we want where the snow is worsening, where the conditions are getting harder and harder to for the snow crews to remove the snow. In fact, that's going to be the first of the, of the weather questions to answer, which would be the weather direction. In this case, we'll say it is worse. The, the snow conditions are worsening, so we're going to give ourselves 20 points for that. Now, let's do the next question, which is the feels like temperature. Most school districts will close if it's a sustained negative 20. That's not the case here, so I'm going to give myself zero points. What is the wind for 6 a.m.? You get more points uh, depending on how fast it is. You're really looking towards the blowing and drifting situation, which occurs at 20 to 29 miles per hour. So in this Tier 1 location, We'll say that we do have the blowing and drifting, so we'll give ourselves 15 points. The total snow from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m., this, um, again, we'll say we're in a Tier 1 situation, and if we have 12 inches of snow, that gives us 30 points. Storm advisory or warning, this gives the superintendent something to hang her hat on. 
If it's in fact an advisory, we get 20 points like we do in this case. A warning would have been better. But when we add these points all up, we have 103 points. That means we will have a snow day. But think of how tenuous that is. If the day of the week had been a Wednesday or Thursday, we would have 12 points less and we would not have achieved the snow day totals, but maybe a two hour delay.